Welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try It Never Rains in Southern California. A minor 7 to a D to a G. Okay, that's your intro. Capo second fret, I forgot to tell you. Capo second fret will put you in his key. All right, so we need need a few chords. There's only four chords in this song. This is a great song to play. Uh, beginners can do it. Um, it's, uh, it's excellent. Fourth string second fret, second string first fret. I mute the sixth string with my thumb. That's an A minor seven. You need a D chord. Uh, second, uh, sorry, 3rd string 2nd fret, 1st string 2nd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret, D chord, I need the 6th string, okay? Uh, then you need a G chord, any G chord will do, yeah, I'm going to do this one, uh, I might do the other one, who knows, 6th string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, 1st string 3rd fret, you can do that G, you can do the G where you have the two fingers on top, if that's the one that you play all the time, doesn't matter, anyone will do. And then you need an E minor chord later on in the song. It's 5th string 2nd fret, 4th string 2nd fret, and um, everybody else is open. So 5th string, 4th string 2nd fret. You all know those chords. Those are easy chords for you. Uh, Alright, so our intro, uh, there is a little lead part. We'll show you that too. Uh, and there's a solo and an outro and all that stuff. So. Uh, I got all, everything's right here. So A minor 7, uh, my strum is probably going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? So A minor 7 to D, then G twice. A minor 7 to D, I'm going to do the G1 pattern, and then an extra one, and then I'm up, okay? So that's your intro for the rhythm guy. The lead guy... Sorry, it's uh... That'll put you in his key. Um, let's see, how shall I teach you this? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go, <clears throat> you know, I'm gonna play it as if I don't have the capo, that, that way it won't confuse you at all. Uh, I'm gonna go to the second string, fifth fret, and then the second string, seventh fret, so... Then I'm on the first string and I'm going to go 7, 7, 5, 7, 7, 5, 7, 7, 5, 7, 7 on the second string. Okay? And then 5 on the first. And then you rest for a moment. And then first string 5, second string 7, first string 5, 5 on uh, the first string, and second string 7, and then the first string 5 and I pull it back and then I make it disappear. So I'm pulling it back and I just lift off the pressure and just get rid of the sound. So uh, I, I know that's hard, it's hard to teach that um, you know yelling out those numbers like that but you're on the second string you do 5-7 the first string is 7 Seven five seven seven five seven seven five seven second string seven first string five then I hit that one again second string seven back to the five five seven five on the different strings uh, that should be good enough use your ear you'll be able to figure it out so that is your lead part in the intro uh, the melody that you hear played uh, all right so the verse so the verse and the chorus are exactly the same. Uh, it's A minor 7. Oops, sorry. Different key. Capo, back to the second fret. Here we go. A minor 7 to D to a G twice. A minor 7 to D. He didn't know a G twice. It seems it never rains in Southern California is the chorus, which is the same thing. It's A minor 7, D, 
in Southern California twice. You often, A minor seven, heard that D kind of talk to you. I, A minor seven, to a D. Most of the song right there uh, because you got your intro, you got a verse, a chorus, a verse again, then it does this little interlude which is the same exact thing as the intro. So we don't need to go over it, it's got that same lead part, it's the same chords. Uh, then you got another verse and another chorus. Remember, the verse and chorus are exactly the same chords for you. Then you have an outro for, um, for the rhythm guy. He just plays A minor 7 to D, and he plays G twice, and you just repeat that four times. So A minor 7, D, G twice, you repeat it four times, and then he fades out. Uh, if you wanted to end it on a chord, uh, the G chord is here, that's the key you're in. Um, this is that, the longer solo, the one that's different, okay? Uh, uh, let me just play it. You can, you, you can leave the capo on. I don't want to confuse you with the capo. Um, you can leave the capo on. It's not going to interfere. You just have to be in the right spot. If you're looking at my tab, I tabbed it as if the capo uh, were uh, not on the, the lead uh, guitar. So I say five, seven, like that. Uh, technically, if you're talking about the capo, it's three frets from the capo, but it's the, literally the fifth fret of the guitar. Uh, and because you're not playing any open strings, the capo doesn't really matter that much. Okay? So now that I've confused you completely, <laughs> let me go over that solo a little uh, slower. So on the second string, we got 5, 7 again. And then on the first string, 7, 7, 5, 7, 7, 5, 7, 7, 5, 7, 7 on the second string, 5 on the first. So, so far, it's exactly the same. And then... Five, set, uh, five on the first, seven on the second, five on the first, five on the first, seven on the second, five on the first. Okay, so so far we got. Then they're gonna do this thing where on the second string they go five, seven, five on the first. Like that, that's different. Uh, and then on the first string, we're going to go seven, seven, five, seven, seven, five, seven, seven, five, nine, nine, five, five, and then seven on the second, five on the first, five on the first, seven on the second, five on the first. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let me play that part. One more time, I'll play the whole little solo now, okay? And that's it. It never rains in Southern California. If you have any questions, comments down below. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and play more guitar.